Hey guys, it's Drew with Austin Craft Realty. Hope everyone is having a great Friday. We've done it, we've made it. It is the end of the week. Um, it is Friday, so feel free to eat fried chicken, fried food of any sort. You've earned it. Hey, I um, wanna thank everyone who came out to my first time homebuyer event this Wednesday at Lazarus Brewing Company. It was awesome, had a great time, great turnout. Uh, felt great about the presentation. Uh, if anyone's curious about what I said, I'm happy to send you a copy of the slideshow, happy to send you some infographics um, that basically encapsulate the ideas of what we're talking about. So I want to talk about today another part of town that I really love that has a few emerging condominium projects coming up uh, for those of us who want to take advantage of living in the prime locations of Austin and who don't want the maintenance and hassle of owning a house. Um, and want amenities where they live. So that's where it makes sense to own a condo. Are there HOA fees? Yeah. Do they suck? Yeah. But a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the money that goes into these HOA fees are going towards very useful things, right? Like common area maintenance, common area insurance. If your roof goes kaput, then ideally, the HOA has funds in it to buy a new roof. Uh, whereas if that happens to a single family home you live in, well, that's kind of an out of pocket cost for you. So HOAs uh, are not just thrown down the garbage chute like a lot of people think. Now, the three properties I wanna talk about, three condo projects in South Central Austin, by the way, I got a little poll going on, where would you rather live? East side, 7702, where I live, where the Austin Craft Realty office is, great part of town, or 7704, South Central Austin, where these condos that I'm talking about are. South Central is a little more mature, um, you know, uh, a little more traffic or a lot more traffic actually, let's be honest. Um, it's more mature, the housing prices are a little higher depending where you are. Um, really popular part of town for more like 15 years, whereas Eastside has merged in the last five years. I'd like to equate 78704 more to kind of the funkier parts of LA and the 7702, the East Side, more to Brooklyn. Um, anyways, the Guild Lofts. Those are the first condos I want to talk about. Really cool project uh, offered by, or listed by Dan Real Estate, built by Weber and Studio Architects, or designed by them rather. Uh, it's a collection of three-story townhomes right off South First Street. Uh, Ten-foot ceilings, covered parking. Um, a lot of these kind of townhome developments have been coming up. Uh, these are fantastic because HOA fees are really low, 23 cents a foot. Um, only 25 units in the entire complex, actually ranging from uh, flats, one bedroom flats, which are really large for one bedrooms, 1142 square feet, starting at 375 with gigantic balconies. Y'all, these units have amazing balconies with partial downtown views. Really cool feature you don't see often. Two bedrooms, starting at 1475 square feet at 475,000. Um, they're really nice, they're not, uh, low end, they're not ultra high end. They're really a nice blend of um, ends, if you will. Nice balance uh, in 7704, right off South First Street, just south of Old Torf. So you can walk to a lot of great places like Torchy's Tacos, Toss Pizzeria, Summer Moon Coffee, Wine Belly, Crowbar, if you want to get divey with it. Uh, really some great locations, great restaurants near here. Um, the next one, oh, by the way, 17 units currently available. Reservation process goes straight to contract with 3% earnest money and a seven day option period. So you can do your due diligence. Um, Zilker on the park. This is a very interesting condo development. It's actually a conversion. These were apartments initially built in 2014. A uh, developer from Baltimore came down here who specializes in condo conversions, essentially bought the entire apartment complex and has now subdivided them into condominiums for sale. So they did a couple minor upgrades like pool furniture and whatnot, really not much. Um, you know, uh, the best thing about this building is location. If you all love Zilker Park, the idea of living right next door to it, I'm sure would be very enticing. Now, that comes at a cost though. These aren't cheap 
However, uh, there's still quite a few available. They have been for sale for about two years now. Uh, I think it's taken them a lot longer than they anticipated to sell these. In my opinion, they're priced too high from the get-go. Now the market's kind of caught up to them. Um, that being said, you can get a studio starting under 300,000, 285,000 for a 538 square foot studio, literally right next door to Zilker Park. So a lot of great things about this location. Um, what I will say though, is it's not quite built to condo specifications. It was originally an apartment. So you're gonna have wood construction, not concrete construction, which many would expect out of a newer condo building. So that is something that has held it back a little bit, I feel. Um, and that being said, you know, if location is everything to you, then it could be a very good option. Um, 33 cents a foot on the HOAs, it's five stories, 100 or 213 total units. Um, it is about 55 to 60% sold. Uh, reservation process is a $5,000 deposit, five day rescission period before the 10th day you have to put the difference between two and a half percent. So um, one bedroom starting 330K, two bedrooms 450K. Um, you know, pretty basic on the interiors, but it's nice and it's new and gosh, that location. Uh, finally, a development I'm very excited about. It is 900 South 1st Street. Built by PSW, we've talked about PSW before. They are crushing it right now. They make a very clean, modern product, very seamless, um, maximizes every inch of the square footage. Uh, 900 South 1st Street is also great because it's also a premium location. It is located just south of Barton Springs Road, off South 1st Street, which is a very cool, hip, popular street in Austin. Um, and gosh, you can walk almost anywhere here. Walk downtown and probably 15 minutes easily. Um, walk to Auditorium Shores, walk to Zilker Park, all the South 1st Street stuff, the Palmer Center, the Long Center. It's amazing. Uh, and, and it's going to be a great product as well. First off, shout out to a good friend of Austin Craft Realties and myself, Mark Kendrick, uh, who recently got a job with PSW and will be selling this community. So we have a great inroad on this project because Mark is a good friend of ours and has helped us uh, with sales in the past on the fourth and project. Anywho, what else can I say about 900 South First Streets? Um, three minute drive to downtown, 31 cents a square, uh, a square foot, HOA. So these are, you know, these square foot prices for HOA fees are roughly half of what we're seeing in these luxury downtown buildings. So a lot of savings right here. Um, four stories total, 63 units, um, studios up to three bedroom or condominiums. And there's actually going to be some office space, even a cafe. And there will be houses, single family houses in the back of this community. So um, those have not been announced yet price-wise, but very excited for those. Uh, starting price, they're not cheap, uh, but they are very much quality. $305,000 for 498 square feet for the studio. Um, one bedrooms, high 300s for about 800 square feet. Two bedrooms, low to mid 700s starting at 1150 square feet. Uh, three bedrooms, mid 800s starting to get up there, but you get 1639 square feet. Um, 30 units are available at the moment. Reservation process is 5% deposit with a signed contract uh, and pre-approval or proof of funds. Um, so I'm very excited about that development. And then there's a, a bunch of little urban info developments as well. Um, David Weekly Home Builders has some really nice stuff just south of Old Torf. Uh, shout out to Newcastle Homes. Uh, Lex is in charge of that. He's a good friend of the companies and they are seeking to do more projects there. Um, in 78704 in the zip code. Um, yeah, y'all, we're seeing things creep south even of Ben White, which is the southern boundary. It's the freeway that's the southern boundary of 78704. So it's very exciting what's going on. Um, check out the poll. Where would you rather live in Austin? Uh, you know, the more LA vibes of 04 or the more Brooklyn vibes of east side where I live and where our office is located. Um, you really can't go wrong. They're both amazing parts of town. Uh, Central Austin as well, you know, Burnett, North Lamar, Guadalupe, also fantastic places to live. Um, you know, as long as you're not out in the burbs, there's an Austin vibe almost anywhere in this town. And you can't say that about a lot of cities. Can't really say that. Um, so anyways, um, 
we're just here to let you know buying a condo doesn't have to be daunting. Um, if you or any of your friends looking for a spot, hit me up. I'm happy to send you some resources or just get you on what's called an auto search where it will show you, hey, like here's what's selling, here's what's sold, you know, here's what the market's like for your own educational resources. So you don't have to click around on Zillow, which is really a pain. Um, anyways, hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Um, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Um, you know, big ups to my agents who are out there making things happen and helping people find great places to live. And hopefully we'll be having more first time home buyer seminars in the near future, uh, ran by myself or my agents. Uh, props to my agent, Callie Gordon, for having a great one last night. So anywho, hope all is well and I'll see y'all soon. Bye now.